The Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn's campaign team, has accused the deputy leader of the party, Tom Watson, of peddling baseless conspiracy theories. He said his party has been infiltrated by Trotsky entryists who do not have the party's best interests at heart and who see it as a vehicle for revolutionary socialism. So how do you identify a trot? Well, let's hear from the man himself in a rare address in English. Esteemed audience, you will easily understand if I begin my short address to you in my very Im imperfect English by addressing my warm thanks to the Mexican people and to the man who leads them with such merit and courage, President Cardenas. Well, the, uh, joined by the musician Billy Bragg, he left the Labour Party but has now rejoined, and by Alex Kalenikos, who's Professor in Political Theory at King's College London. Good morning to you both. Hello. I mean, it sounds extraordinary hearing him there. One doesn't very often hear Trotsky. Yes, I suspect he would have been better in his original Russian. He was supposed to be the most commanding mass orator, so I think we hear him a bit constrained. There. Okay, well, let, can we have a lesson, please? How would you identify somebody as a trot? What would you say that would refer that thing. How, how would that well, that thing? I think a, a, a Trotskyist is someone who um, identifies with uh, Trotsky's political heritage, which was essentially the original ideas of the Russian Revolution, international revolution, and uh, revolution, and more broadly socialism, as a radically democratic process in which people across the world take control of their lives. Uh, I'd say that's the essence of what Trotsky stood for. Okay, well, let's bring Billy Bragg in here because you rejoined the party. Did you rejoin it as a vehicle for revolutionary socialism? Not really, no. I mean, I live in a rural constituency in West Dorset where the Tories have been in power since 1866, and our local branch uh, membership, a uh, constituency membership, has gone from 200 to 800 since Jeremy was elected. And they can't all be Trotskyist revolutionaries. You know, been asleep all these years. There is another definition of, of Trotskyist, actually, and that's uh, uh, someone in a uh, in the Labour Party who wants to have a say in the making of party policy. You know, because <laughs> because party party democracy party democracy is the only way that uh, individual citizens can have some say over the making of policy, and that's why people have joined the Labour Party because they've been given that opportunity by the party. Okay, but, the, uh, but P Professor Kalinikos, you, what Tom Watson seems to be suggesting is that there's something more going on here, that actually some of the people who have joined, and he m makes it very clear, he's not saying all, he says most of them are, you know, and nothing wrong, entirely understandable why they've joined, but he suggests some are almost, and perhaps he's alluding to those who are from different parties, and he uses the word entryists, who've come in to affect change. Uh, I think it's a complete misjudgment of the situation. I basically agree with Billy. We've seen an enormous growth in the membership of the Labour Party. Um, I mean, uh, Jeremy Corbyn, just to take one of his rallies, addressed 3,000 people in Hull. I would be surprised if there were 30 Trotskyists in Hull. The idea that this, kind, this is a movement that is being manipulated by a small number of people is, is absurd. I mean, there wa where was an organised Trotskyist tendency in the Labour Party back in the 1970s and the 1980s, the militant tendency, they were kicked out. I mean, I, I just think it's a complete misunderstanding of the kind of political movement that's developed around Corbyn. OK. Billy Bragg, but what about this idea? And he said he, he says that they are, they're seeing it as a vehicle for revolutionary socialism. And his argument is that this is just a small number of people and they are not remotely interested in winning elections. Uh, that, that's, that's a way of um, othering members of the Labour Party who want to come in and, and have a say after all this time. You know, we've, you know, I never call someone a Blairite just because they disagree with me. So calling anybody who has uh, left-wing views in the party, calling them Trot is ridiculous. You know, we're talking about having to win people back from UKIP. Are, are they going to be accused of being entrists coming from another party? I mean, what's basically going on here is people are no longer happy to have been uh, taken for granted all these years, you know? The Liberal Democrats took it for granted that their members would be happy for them to go into power with the Tories. Look what happened to them. Labour in Scotland took it for granted that they could always rely on working class voters. Look what happened to them. The Tories took it for granted that their voters would back uh, Cameron over the European Union. And it's the same thing in America. Voters are angry and they want to be heard.